Alrighty, let's see if I can muddle through making this video. I've got exa exactly one camera too few to do this properly. <laughs> so uh, it's going to be a little shaky. Sorry about that, guys. So anyway, first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, pick a satellite. Uh, this one happens to be in the past now. So even though it doesn't have um, the, all, the, all the things that we want, uh, we're going to go with this one. And I'm going to switch over here to the, uh, the rotor that uh, came in. And I will warn you that uh, this is to scale. Oh, it looks like we already got a bent element. Uh, this is not to scale, and this is not an actual antenna. But uh, now we have it uh, pointed at the satellite. Uh, fortunately, I'm close enough to be able to fix the elements. There we go. All through the magic of uh, YouTube videos. So now you see that it's uh, tracking the satellite. And I can prove that by going back over here, and we can actually see the uh, Yezu G5500 uh, tracking the satellite. I think it's tracking the satellite. Yeah, it is. Little orange box indicates uh, where the antenna is pointing. Little white uh, diamond, if you will, uh, indicates where the uh, uh, where the satellite is in the sky. And then, of course, this is just approximate since the the rotor is uh, sitting here on, on my desk. But you know, it's it's great for testing, and uh, see how it's going to work before it gets up in the air. Oh, well, this chair. So you should see that that uh, pretty much uh, goes along with what the um, what the uh, iGate Mini SAT is showing on the display. So this is a fairly low pass from uh, what experience I've been getting as far as uh, what I've been learning about satellites. Uh, and, and of course, it's uh, that's borne out by the, uh, the elevation on the antenna. So you kind of get the idea of what it does uh, through the pass. Now, if we go back to, um, say we're, we're done with this, the pass is completed, and uh, we'll just say stop all, which would be effectively the same thing that happens whenever the, the pass is completed, and say I want to get ready for the next pass. Well, I go to the ready spot, which I have set for um, 90 degrees and 180. Uh-oh. Antenna's dragging across a tree or something. So I've noticed the azimuth rotor is a bit faster than uh, the elevation rotor, which is fine, I suppose. So now it's in park mode. So I can either go uh, from 90 degrees all the way to zero or 180. And, and at the azimuth at 180 degrees, anywhere from uh, 180 to uh, 0 or 360. Same thing. So that's the quick uh, skinny, if you will, on uh, how the uh, G5500 from Yezu works with the SAT iGate Mini. Uh, and, uh, of course, the display that you're seeing there in the upper left-hand corner is the uh, web interface from the iGate Mini. And uh, it really is just as simple as clicking on the future button waiting for the uh, satellites to come up, and then clicking on a satellite, like uh, say I want to do RS-22, which is coming up next. And now this is going to uh, sit there and wait until it's time to uh, start moving the antenna. And whenever it comes uh, above the horizon, the uh, G5500 is going to automatically move into position to match where the satellite position is. Well, that's it for now. Quick video just showing you how this all, all works, and uh, we'll uh, catch you later, 7-3.